sweethearts! Thank you for joining me, Angel, on the very first episode of The Sweet Show. February is upon us and Valentine's Day is just around the corner. So today we will be making a homemade box of chocolate truffles. It's an adorable little treat that you can share with someone special this Valentine's Day. Or just have it all to yourself. Let's begin! The ingredients that we're going to need for the truffles are 7 ounces of heavy cream half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one pound of dark bittersweet chocolate that we're going to put in a large bowl, and two ounces of butter. First, you're going to get a small saucepan and we're going to heat the cream and vanilla to a simmer. Once it simmers, pour it over the chocolate and we're going to mix it until the chocolate melts and everything is completely mixed in. And finally, add in your butter and just whisk it until it completely melts and mixes in. The next thing that we're going to do is just put half of this in a bowl and just let it chill in the freezer for a bit. Later on you'll see why. Now I know there's probably a number of creative ways to make truffles, but I want to show you guys three super fun and easy ways to make them. First we're going to make plain chocolate truffles. For this one we're going to need a squeezy bottle, a funnel, and we're going to transfer our chocolate from the bowl to the bottle. Next, grab some chocolate molds. You can usually find these in craft stores or candy making supply stores or even at your local grocery store sometimes. And I'm sure there's tons online. Anyways, there's thousands of designs available out there so get creative and get adventurous. So just grab your squeezy bottle and just squeeze out the chocolate onto the molds. When you're all done, just give it a little tap and just let it chill in the fridge. Secondly, let's make some filled chocolate truffles. Once again, you're going to need your squeeze bottle filled with chocolate and some more chocolate molds. And this time we're only going to fill them about one-thirds full. Now just give it a little tap and just let it chill in the fridge for five minutes. Take the molds out of the fridge and they should appear more set and solid by now. Time to place your fillings. You can fill them with nuts, candy, caramel, jams, absolutely anything you want. First we're going to put our almonds, some candy, we'll pipe out some caramel, and some jam. Now we're just going to squeeze out more chocolate to fill the mold completely. Now just give it a little tap tap and in the fridge they go. Lastly, let's make some coated chocolate truffles. Remember that bowl of chocolate that you put in the freezer? Let's take that out. Now that your chocolate is set, we're going to grab a small ice cream scoop and we're going to scoop them onto a tray with parchment paper. This looks like a job for our special magic spatula. Perfect! Now let's pop it back in the freezer for about 10 minutes. While that's chilling in the freezer, get your favorite toppings ready to coat your truffles with. You can use cocoa powder, coconut flakes, some chopped nuts or sprinkles, anything you want. Put some gloves on and take your tray of chocolate scoops out of the freezer. Now we're going to roll them into balls and we're going to dip them in the toppings coating them nicely. Cover the chocolate as much as you want and set them on your tray. It's totally okay to get messy. Let your truffles sit in the fridge for at least three hours to make sure they can hold their shape well. Now that our chocolates have set, let's go ahead and pop them out of the mold. I have here my plain and filled truffles and I just want to add some finishing touches to these so they can look pretty and Valentine's Day ready. Here are some piping bags that I had filled with melting chocolate that I got from the store and I'm going to use these to decorate my truffles. Looking great guys, now all that's left to do is assemble our box of chocolates with some mini cupcake liners and a box. Now if you guys can't find a box like this, any box will do, just get creative and have fun with it. Now I'm going to take a truffle and then a mini cupcake liner, put it in and place it on the box. And here's our box of chocolates, isn't it lovely? I hope you guys had fun joining me today in making these beautiful little treats. I know I did. If you guys have any suggestions on something that you want to see or you just want to say hello, drop me a comment under the video. 
And if you really like the show, don't forget to subscribe because we have new episodes every Monday. Bye, guys. Until next time.